<clears throat> Good morning and um, welcome to yet another video about Komar's burial shroud. We are working our way through the text and maybe today we'll finish a first pass. Um, that would be really nice. Um, so let's get to it. <clears throat> So what I have set up here, uh, for those of you who are seeing this video first, maybe you should watch the other ones in the playlist first to see how we got here and how it's actually even possible to read something like this, where you feel that the letters are simply escaping in front of your eyes. Um, so if you want to know more about how we are actually able to get a good grasp on this text, um, watch the previous videos. But what we have up here, this is Komar's burial shroud. Let's zoom out a little bit. This is what it looks like. Um, this is the best photo I have, unfortunately. And this is another burial shroud of Gapoyapa. Um, oh. That it doesn't want to show fully because it's probably so big. Let me just load that again. There it is, right? Which, as you can see, is very complete. And so what we've been doing is we've been using this shroud um, to reconstruct um, the shroud of Komar, this one, because it turns out that not only the beginning and the end are rather similar, but also the entire middle part has large sequences of overlaps. Um, and that's just, that's just very, very exciting. Let me just check quickly. Yeah, OK. I'm getting paranoid about the sound because the sound didn't work for, for some time. OK, so let's. Um, oh, yeah. And then obviously you see here some gaps in the text here, here, some damages, some some parts where the text is badly faded, such as here. And so <clears throat> we are also hoping that as bad as this may seem, some of the text that is legible here, for example, can be used to reconstruct text here. And in fact, we have seen that happening. So we can use the two shrouds to reconstruct each other. Um, and that's that's pretty phenomenal because there are very few materials in Onubian that actually allow you to do that. Like we don't have the luxury of many doubles. Um, and so this is this is a completely unprecedented situation. So where we left the other time is we did these bunch of lines up to here, I think. Yeah, we did like three lines the other day. Um, this may not seem much, but there was nothing here. And these are these very long lines. And as you see with this huge hole here um, that, that you can, yeah, that's basically these, these parts that it says like traces, like you have a hole and then traces. Um, and so today we're gonna go up above line 20 here and see um, whether we can use again the texts of Gapoyapa. So as you can see here, like let me just scroll here. We have here tentatively the section with the names. So your name is of light, your name is of the beginning and so on. We tentatively have that section uh, here. It goes on for a while. Um, and probably that's this is not entire like this may be like more like a hymnical part. This is not entirely parallel as far as I could see the last time. But then I hope that this part here again is. As you can see, there's a few like lacunae that I hope we can. And, and here at the beginning of the line, um, here and here. What are those parts? Um, line. Um, these line numbers are not entirely correct anymore, by the way. So um, here and here, like where you see this tear uh, coming through, this white thing is probably some piece of paper that they put underneath or something um, to, uh, yeah, maybe to stabilize it or whatever. Because right, this is a bit of a weird line. Um, so I hope that maybe we can fill in some of these gaps here 
once we know what it should say. So, let's have a look. So this is our mm, the all. Then we have nine, and then we have here a line beginning with engma, and here we have probably something like this. Let's just let's just start reading the line <coughs> and see how far we can get. Because here we have no. Do we have any word here? I'm just looking a little bit earlier up. This word again seems to be Thomas. This is George Law. Yeah. Right, you see a G my here, Omicron, Ypsilon, Rho, Tau, Lambda, Omicron. So I don't know what's happening here. But then certainly we have, this is all dotted. Right, so the first gma you have jurt, so nu is here, epsilon, omicron, the gma is here, maybe you see actually this, this line here is off. So maybe we should just also be dotted. And then the gma is clear. Omicron not so, epsilon fine, rho not so clear, tau fine, lambda okay, ish. Then jurt lo. So that's, no, that cannot be it. No, Junjur Tin, huh? that's what it is, Junjur Tin. Then we must have again Intangas, so that should be here. So let's, let's just make this. We can sing this and then probably something like Enira here. I can see era. I mean, in must be here. We, we should simply supply that. And tau alpha is really not visible at all, but the engma is, right? That's this thing here. You can always see it with this hook pop. And then a sigma. And then uh, new, quite uh, epsilon nu, epsilon rho alpha must be there. Epsilon, 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 this epsilon is fine. Let's quickly check what's going on here. Just let me pause this real quick. Enera. it go so 
sorry guys, this is a conversation I just need to end. Um, Enera. Ah, uh, but then what is that? This should be this completion, yes? Kirnitna. Enera. And wouldn't it be nice to read that here? But here's an epsilon nu. And so, right, I'm just, you know. Okay, but that doesn't work because this ends in na. Uh, Okay, I cannot do that. Is this is a Sawartina. A nera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What is it? Ten to twelve letters. That's it. But this no at the beginning is strange. Because here's in at the end of the line. And there is an alpha before that, and there must be a new before that. So what is that? No. No tongues. Sa tongues, no tongues. Is this a big mistake? Nga tongues, in nga tongues. Your glorious name? We don't know. Um, what we do now is what follows this here is an epsilon. Oh, wait, actually, and then I should probably count also. I mean, what should be here is should be a nera. There's just no other thing that can be here. It should be here and nera. It fits nicely. Is this the beginning already of that sequence? In, fine, readable. Tau alpha. Tau, alpha, fine. Engma, I see it here. Sigma is also fine, but then what follows unclear. Oh, lordy lord. Nothing, nothing. There could be an epsilon here.
Okay, but that means that probably this is the first. This may be the first, um, this may be the beginning of the sequence. Which means that here, something else is happening. Here we start with Guka. Ka. Just putting some letters in here. One, two, three. This is again the same spelling of Jesus with Epsilon Yota that we've seen elsewhere. So this should clearly be Jesus. So where is Jesus here? Is that this? Well, then this may be Dowell Great. Maybe the great Jesus. Is this the Mishan Guka? Hmm. This is a shy Alpha Nu. That could very well be. Let's put this in. Yeah, that first one is a shy. Which means that we end the line at Mish. Here, line thirteen should end in Mish, and it does. And before that, we see an alpha. Good, Mishan Guka, <gasps> and that's this thing here. Which means that this is Jesus. Here. Okay, that's good. That means that after Mishan Guka, we have Ah. Okay. Ah, Guka. Okay, that, that, that. so this is whole, okay, yeah. This whole list of things, and it's really, really badly damaged. good okay it's sad it's like 15 this then must be this talk could very well be this must then end in Guka 
least at the end of the line, since these are all these plural forms. It looks like there's also shun here. Can we read Shan Gokai here? What comes before? No, Kun. Kunjil Guka. But I have Shan Guka here. So this is not entirely parallel. So I shouldn't I shouldn't reconstruct this. Okay, where I was a talk. Yeah, no. This I have. Can I have something? But then what would this be? This is the end of the line, three, four letters. And I could very well be low. A law. And now, maybe Epsilon, Lambda, Lambda, Omicron. Is that a possible reading here? That means that this is also the beginning of the line. Now, this is clearly Tlo. Unreadable. Is there something super lineated here? Maybe. Well, I'm just going to put that. Okay, let's go to our big Jesus. Can we milk out the crystals? Uh, possibly here. And then we have Soar to maybe, yeah, no. Je, Je um, Mishan. This again seems like Mishan. Ah, because it's the end of the line. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Then this is also unreadable. Okay, and now we get the sequence of the don't do this, don't do that, right? Yeah. Okay. Done. Ah, 
Okay, so this ends in Tom and his son. That's interesting, yeah. Wait, this is total. Ah, this is the not dwell. Um, we have seen that adjective before. Flesh become flesh or something. Yeah. Then this is toe two. In and this is on. In is barely visible here, but here's on. On. On na that must be that verb on and this, so we have this. We have this. And then we have a whole line of absolute nightmare. There we have, ooh. Ooh. When now, is it this? Perhaps would fit. New is visible. O, a letter, new, clear, another new, alpha here, barely visible. So that's this. And then we have in here. Kappa alpha here. Tongue is tau alpha angma sigma. It, I mean, you only know it because it's here too. I mean, this is just simply ghost. Trace of kappa. And then it really becomes helpless. Okay, but then we know that the end of this line should be the, oh my God, and it is, ah, it should be the imperative. So like every time I'm surprised that this works. So we have this part, boom, at the end of the line. So, oh, so with an omega. Air. Here, Ermena Omicron Epsilon, Ermena Omicron Epsilon. this is that what it 
it is. Not so sure. So, the letter F. Ooh, this is the U. This is the alpha. Can this then be air? Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. This is a row. No, no, this is a Gma here. Impossible. So air men Okay, first of all, let's just uh, epsilon rho mu maybe an epsilon a nu. Another letter, we don't even know what this is. Another letter. Omicron Epsilon. This I this I accept. Two more letters. Then only pain. Eleven, twelve is meaning. So uh, ten to a gulo. Maybe can we see this here somewhere? Here's I. And on. Ten. Is your ten to work? Beginning of the line is ten. Maybe that's this. To work. Go. No. Uh, this uh, this this whole thing that is stuck in here of eleven twelve yeah that's precisely what's here. Okay, but it means that the previous line ends again in a sigma omega. Which it does. Anna so Rana so we 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 are getting there. Here's Gul.
Here is sigma epsilon. And letter epsilon. Okay, Omicron I can see. Two. And then, then this must be a gemma here. Just the bottom. Say what is this letter? Is this a wow? Maybe I don't know. Um, in any case, we have this, and we have this beginning here. <clears throat> Once we figure out what verb it is, it will be a bit easier, but. Is it to inherit or something? Flee or whatever. Yeah, because this is the... Those, the, the authorities of darkness. We don't want them around at our burial. Do we have a verb that is to flee or something? No. It should be probably something to go and flee. Seaside Thompson. No. Großziehen Zuchten. That may be the verb, actually. That may be very well the verb, but that's for later when we're going to analyze this whole thing. Now we still have ghoul. We have a near here, quite clear in Omicron. So this again confirms. Um, this can be only one thing. This is a clear letter. Then lambda before that. Which means that here in this gap where nothing is visible anymore is a gemma. This then must be preceded by a kappa that is also completely invisible. Which means that before this should be pau konki. We have au here. We have au. Ups alpha is quite clear, Omicron Upsilon also clear, this must be another. And then this kappa, okay. So, well, trace of P is there, alpha is, I mean, this is all very crappy. Oh, oh okay. Upsilon, I'm gonna say, is clear, this is clear ish then conky should be supplemented because that's completely invisible so the authorities of darkness before that should be wooden cotton of darkness if Paul conky is here that should be here and that's completely gone but that's the only thing that can be there So I'm gonna supplement this. Which means that the next line again should end in so. Hopefully. No. Toku ah, okay. Tokuwa. Very nice. Tokuwa. Na so. That should be here. And the line ends in toku. Wa. Very nice, that's this. It's clearly readable. Okay, and then this Jorta. I don't read it, and then La. Okay, now we have again stuck, 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 stuck. 
until we read at the beginning of the line Jelgu. Like this. Quite clear. No, Jelga, I read. What's up with that? This is an epsilon. Are we sure this is a gu? Gel get it could be actually it could be an epsilon, yes. Gel get and then this is looks like a row. We should be able to say something about this. This isn't, I mean, there's clearly some stuff that we cannot read here, but then we have three letters, an epsilon, two letters, right? One, two, three, epsilon, what's that? One, two, three, four, four more letters. Then a hole, maybe of another four, three to four. Then, Ula, boom. What is that? Now there seems to be a kind of divergence. Where is this? What about Taru Takira at the line at the end of the line here? Oh, poof. Tokua. Nis. Epsilon, Yota, not a letter, a tau, perhaps, not a letter, N, letter, a letter, one, two, three, maybe three, four letters in this hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, six letters. Is there any 
anything here that could fit. Those tongues are down on this side of road. Nothing really. Then. Oh wait, ha ha ha, so, this is not the beginning of the line, there's Joe Guka. No, this doesn't help very much either. Impossible to read before Ula here. Ah, this, this must be Tula, this must be this. Ah, okay, which means that this indeed is Nis. That's this. Which means that this, oh yeah, okay, then that, that, yeah, that makes sense. This is an alpha, this is a row, bum bum, and I can see Omicron Epsilon before that. Yeah, okay, so this here, Ura, and you see the tail of the Epsilon coming out of there. It's our epsilon there, and then in the hiatus we have bom bom one to two daura. Good. I was just I lost the line. Then we have nis beginning of the line sa. Yes, we're back. We're back in business. I was I was reading the wrong line, and then we have. Then in the meaning in the middle here should be Taru Takra Nisa. Does that fit? Taru Takra. Yeah. I don't. I'm, I'm going to supplement it. Why not? Which means that then before this is now I guess I should be tongsa, but that's not written. Written is tansa. Yeah, with a new. Sigma is really quite clear, alpha less so. Then this must be no, verbal form is completely missing. Okay. Tula. Absolutely unreadable what's going on before that. Um,
And here, there's also too much missing here. Unless we can... Can we read Conjira here? Conjira in. Yeah, in is here. This is all fun. In is here. That should be tra. So that's this verb. is okay. I also clearly see Ra Alpha. Then this this should be a Gmail. So we have this. And probably also con. I also conjured everything here elsewhere. What should come before that? Guka. Ka here. Right here, alpha. Kappa. This should be, and then this is the tail of the epsilon. So Guka should be here. Epsilon tail is visible. Go is completely gone. So that means that there should be an engma here. Can we see Cohen or what is this? <gasps> if we have Guka here, then Ngoko Guka. That should be it then. Ngoko Guka. The glorious That would fit, but would it fit here? Can we say no Kogoka? 15, 13, 13, 15, 15, 13, 13, 13. Coin, ha uh ha. -huh. Perhaps 
don't know what to do with these letters here. What is that? Okay, let's assume that this is no. That still leaves us with this, this Congo. Right, there's still an O here. So if even if this, I mean, this must then be no. And there's no other way to read that. And then here's another kappa. What on earth is Kongok? here Cuenca but I read here two And then we're already getting very close to this, which is here at the end of that line. Then we would have Aujara, four or five letters. So it would really just fit. How many letters do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's say 12, between, between 12 and 14 letters. This really means that Aujara should follow and be nearly at the end of the line. Oh! Excuse me. This line nine eight seven six. This line. <laughs> At least we even read this. Ah, oh, yeah. Genya me. Yeah, 
Yeah, this would be the Nandalgu card. I should just, I mean, now that we know that it's just so close, just gonna put that in. Nandalguka, this should be our. Uh, Oh, uh, this is from the Jima, Jara. Yeah, difficult to say how this precisely fits up. Because we cannot read this. Yeah. And what is our oh, fuck? Yeah, that's this Tilin or something. Alright, well in any case, we were we were able to get all the way to the top. all right this may seem very tedious um but i just want to remind ourselves that these are very rare artifacts that give us a unique insight into the burial practices um, of the makurtan kingdom um so far, only one burial shroud, that one from Kassir Ibrahim, has been edited. And the addition, because Giovanni lacked all the parallels that I do have, lacked all the context in order to provide, to make a good addition. Um, and with these, with these, we can finally see, you know, what type of, what type of, 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 uh, texts were inscribed on these on these dead bodies um and a, and a picture seems to be emerging of a rather large consistency between these texts so i'm really looking forward also to go back to the um Kasi ibrim burial shroud now that you know two is is nearly completely done and and three confirms that you just have to do these last few lines and of course, we have to do a few more passes that I won't bother you with. But like, the, I mean, the main, the main transcription then is done. And then I can start working on a translation of this one and analysis. Yeah, that's, that's supposed to be here. <laughs> I think I already did quite a bit of it, though. And then with that, you know, doing that grammatical work, we may also like figure out maybe some a little bit a few more details here and there improved readings that then may also reflect on here i mean as you as, as we discussed like there are like tiny variations like for example this adjective not well that that appears um um in in shroud number three but doesn't appear i oh, actually it appears here as well hmm. But it appears here, but it also appears repeated here. Where did we see it? Here, not well. Whereas it doesn't here, I think. Yeah, here actually we found the, the, the Greek abbreviation, nomen sacrum. Right, so there are these tiny variations. And I'm, I'm just really curious how many, you know, how many we end up with, um, because they make the reconstruction sometimes a bit difficult, right? Also spelling differences like here, the way that Jesus is spelled. All right. Well, um, maybe the next, uh, video will do this part. It will not be very exciting. So maybe I won't do a video about it because it's just literally like, this will be, I mean, I can show you what that, that section looks like. It's, 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 it's this part and it's just like, it's so painful. But then again, the part that we did today also seemed very painful and we still managed to, to gain quite a bit. So, oh, you were not, you were not seeing at all what I was pointing at. I was pointing at um, uh, this part here.
here's the last part and you see here this enormous amount of faded or whatever bloodstained i don't even know like unreadable stuff here in the middle oh damage 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 and also problem our parallel text is also rather faded at this point as you can see so that will be our last little fight and until then, have a great day.